welcome. Today we are going to be talking about our chords master list so far, which makes it sound way more important than it, than it is. It's not like the all of the chords available in the key of C major, but it's all of the chord voicings that we learned so far. And throughout the process, I've been saying, hey, we should be writing down our chord voicings in, in little groupings. And so the way that I've done it, and I'm going to hopefully show you now, hopefully there's a picture go going of that. Um, I started with C major, then our A minor chords, then our F major chords, G major chords, and then all of our G7 voicings. And instead of writing this, these down um, on notation paper first, the first thing that I actually did was just write them just in notes, just stacked up in notes. Um, so let's, uh, let's go through them and we're going to talk about each chord that we've learned so far. So let's talk about our C major chords. So we, our first chord, the first one that we learned, G, C, and E. That's from like Red River Valley. We've known this chord for a million years at this point. Our second chord is E, G, and C. This is like the middle part of our full voicing for C major. This is the top. This is the middle. Here's the bottom. We have C, E, C, E, and G. And all together, and then we have our full, full C major chord. Two Cs. C, E, G, and C. We can also put an E on top of that but that's always going to depend on uh, what the melody is doing. And then we also have that G available up top. And if you remember a million years ago when I was t telling you about playing the, the G with the pinky finger, now we're starting to see. Now we're starting to see why I was asking us uh, to be able to play G and D with both the ring finger and the pinky finger. Now let's, uh, now let's check out our A minor voices. So again, we'll start from the top. We have A, C, and E. And we have our middle. That's gonna be E, A, and C. And of course, we can put a low A on the bottom of that, no problem. And now you have your full A minor chord, A, E, A, and C. Again, that top E is an option as well, but it depends on what the melody is doing. We can also play A, C, and E right there. To be able to get to the C, we have to play it as an arpeggio. We can also do this. We haven't learned this in the book, but... And there will be more on that later. So there's our A minor voicings. Now let's, uh, now let's look at our F chord. We only have a couple of these, but let's start at the top again. So we have A, C, and F. And the C and the F are our small bar. C and F. And then we also have F, A, and C. And we can combine these into a, a, another four note voicing, F, A, C, and F. Then we have our G major voicings. We only have a couple of them, and I think I've thrown a few in just uh, as extras for us to use. So we have G, G, B, and G, G, B, G, Bs. Then we have D, G, and B. All open strings, no problem there. As far as a little arpeggio descending, we can also do this. D, D, B, G, D, B, G, Bs. 
Sorry about that, it's just kind of funny to me. And then as far as a couple of extra lower voicings, some, a few things that we can experiment with. B, D, and G. We can also put a D on top of that. We could also put that as an open B too. So there's our G major. Now let's talk about G7. We have a ton of them at this point. Um, so let's just start at the top. G, B, and now F. Another voicing that we have is F, G, and D. We can release that D and have an open B in there. F, G, and B. We can go down here. We can go B, F, and G. one of our full voicings for this are again are going to be a ton of them b f g and d there's one other chord that we have that we've just barely been introduced to uh it was a new one from uh yesterday with my my country tis of thee we can do a d an F to get a D minor chord. Of course, I can put the, the low D in there. Same as the A minor chord. That low D. And another fun one that's going to come up eventually that we're going to get to know pretty well is going to be F, A, and D. So we haven't quite run into that one yet, but I'm going to throw that one in there just for fun. And uh, this, is, this is a great chord. It's great to see, again, those, those chords that share voicings or that share uh, voices. That's D minor, F, A, D. G7, F, G, D. And melodically, you can put that B in there. So it's great to be able to start experimenting with these chords and starting to see where chords start sharing voices. We've been talking about this quite a bit uh, between C and A minor. There's only one note difference in between our D minor and our F. There's only one note difference again. And trying to see how we can get these chords to blend with each other. out of time but just trying to trying to see how I can blend all these chords together and mess around a little bit to start creating some of my own little melodic ideas So another way that we can start building some of our own ideas is by taking some of the exercises that we already know and start to create our own little variations with them. You've seen me do this with, uh, with that another chord waltz. I'm just playing that from memory. But if we have that, Like that 
I can start coming up with my own little ideas with, uh, with some of the exercises that I already know. something like uh, like the builder and I can start messing around with the order that I'm playing my little arpeggio in. So it opens like that. What if I just played it down? start taking some of these ideas and start blending them together and coming up with some of my own little variations and some of my own little ideas off of some of these chords, some of these chord progression ideas. So now comes the really exciting part. Uh, so I'm always talking about how we should be messing around with how these chords move together and coming up with some of our own little ideas. Now is going to be the time that we're gonna start trying to write down some of these ideas as well. So that's gonna be a portion of what we're gonna be doing next week is coming up with our own our own little chord songs. So um, for you today, I have uh, three of those written. I believe you heard me play one of them at the beginning of the video, uh, but I'm gonna play all three of them that I have written for you, and uh, that's gonna be a lot of fun. So here we go.
were three little original pieces that I wrote using the chords we've been learning so far. Um, so for our next little thing, uh, I would say take some of the pieces that we've already been working on and find your own little variations of them and then start exploring where these chord voicings go, where your ears take you with them. And then once, you, once you've been doing that for a little bit, feel free to start writing down these ideas. Actually, actually take note of uh, some of the things that you're doing. I think that that's going to be really uh, important because, you know, it's just, a, it's just a part of the process. You might end up writing a few that are huge stinkers. I know that I have. Um, and those are the ones that we can either like erase or toss to the side or don't, don't worry about them. And then we end up writing a couple of them that we're like, oh, okay, that was actually pretty cool. And then we can start coming up with more ideas based on, based on those things. So, um, so that's, uh, that's going to do it for today. Um, if you like the, uh, the content and the direction that we're going here, uh, feel free to subscribe. You know, it's always great to see you. Um. Feel free to like the video if you like what's going on. And hopefully we're seeing uh, some of the written music um, going by uh, for the end of the video. And other than that, I hope that you have a great weekend. We'll be talking a little bit more about writing our own little chord pieces next week. And we'll also be harmonizing a few a few like fam more famous melodies, uh, some more pop pop oriented kind of melodies pop and rock um so that's going to be a lot of fun um i hope to see you there uh, i hope you have a great weekend and i'll talk to you soon thanks bye